remember if I charged my controller. No, actually, I'm pretty sure I didn't charge it. Make sure, hey there, the KGG Bala, what is up? Marlene, who totally didn't even go to sleep until like some crazy hours in the morning. Hey there, Flying Spider, Scorpio Gamer, JTV's Gaming, YouTube, what is up? Ian, what's up? Kenny, how's it going, my dude? Yeah, Flying Spider, today's Monday. Okay, my Pro Controller battery is not that bad. Alright, a random person has sub zero. Nice. Hey there, Noodle, who is first, officially. Noodle is first. Hey there, David Bright, what is up? Alex Kolobanov. We're doing Rocket League right now. Hey there, Justin Josiah. What is up, G5 Mob Gang? What is up, my ninja? How's it going? Also, well, hello there, Scarlet. It's it's pretty good to see you here on this fine Monday. Hey there, Laura. You didn't sleep at no eleven fifty, Marlene. I saw you on Discord, sending messages at odd number at odd times of the night. I think. Um, who else is there? Hey there, Matt, what is up? Hey there, Ellie, how's it going on this beautiful, beautiful Monday? Now, rainy Monday in Florida, but still good. You know, I like the rain. I'm a fan of the rain. That's how I do. All right, let me, let me, let me open Rocket League real quick. See, Marlene, I have ninja eyes all over discord and snapchat and all these things marlene i see when you're up i'm like why doesn't this child have an exam today why is she up saying that she can't sleep i'm like girl go to bed is what you should do you didn't fall asleep well marlene i'll give you a pass this time i'll give you a pass this time how was the test though more importantly also, hey there, Z1, cool. Alright. Oh man, what did you have at the Crab Shack, Scarlet? You know, fun fact, I'm actually, um, deathly allergic to shellfish. So, like, crabs, lobsters, shrimp, I, I do not eat those. Unless I know it's gonna be, like, a very special occasion and then I can, like, drug myself up to be able to eat them without you know choking but on a normal day i can't eat like crabs or anything like that oh how was the crab at the crab shack scarlet i hope it was good because they have crab in the name so they better have good crabs there oh yeah ellie when what time is venge starting tonight yup you said it best, Ellie. I am deathly allergic to crustaceans. Eat them away from me. Don't sneak them in my food. <laughs> Alright. Marlene will ban you, Miss L. She really will. You gotta you gotta watch out for her. She had a she had an exam today, she's not afraid to take you out. Hey there, karate pro, what is up? Scorch, why are you playing Battlefront though, Scorch? Why are you doing this? I, I see Skizek, I see Sharky, I see Bright. In my inventory, random person, I'll show you. Yeah, Scarlet, you don't, you're asking me if you can join Scarlet? You shouldn't even be asking me. Get on in here, girl. Get on in here. Oh man, Flying Spider. You know what? I can't even think. Hey there, Iron Plant Pro. I can't even think if I've ever been to Joe's Crab Shack. I think where I went was Cracker Barrel. Oh, Monday's a break day. So if he streams, it's 8 p.m. Central Time, which means that's 9 p.m. for me. So that's not bad. I could I could catch him. I could catch him. Benj is like my homie. All right, Scarlet, you do that. Get get in right now. See, I see your thing says you're on Rocket League. See, you guys are lucky. All you guys, your last day of school. Ian's last day of school is Friday. My last day of school was many years ago. Ha! In your face, kids. Hey there, Andrea. How's it going? Soon, Andrea, it will be me and you rubbing it in their faces. That our last day of school. <laughs> 
<laughs> was some time ago. It's fun. It's it's awesome. I'll tell you. Gear's last day is undetermined. Jeez, that's that's kind of oofish, Gear. I don't know what to make of that. All right, Scarlet is ready. You're ready. I'm ready, Scarlet. Let's do this. Scorch is ready. All right. Oh yeah, Kenny. Let me accept your friend request real quick, and let's hope that my Rocket League doesn't crash. Cause you guys know that my Rocket League is kind of finicky nowadays. Um, Ian, how do you join? You just go on Rocket League, sit at the main menu, and I'll just keep inviting people until my my party is full, and then we can kickstart this beautiful Rocket League. Tell you, Flying Spider. It's good to be able to say that you're you're done with school, but you're you're saying that you're hypothetic, you're hypothesizing about future college. I'm not. <laughs> I'm done with that. I, you know, Scarlet, it's been a mystery. I think Rocket League just doesn't like me in particular. I don't know if it's because I'm a streamer or what. Rocket League just does not like me. Because all, anytime my Rocket League crashes, I usually ask in the stream if it's happening to other people. And most people are usually like, nope, my Rocket League is working fine. I don't know what's up with yours, Cam. And it, you know, it kind of makes me a little bit upset. You don't want to go Flying Spider? Yes! Join me, Flying Spider. It's it's me and Shane, y'all. We're living the adult life. We're done with school. <laughs> Yee! Kevin Shane. We're setting the we're setting the, the trend. You know, Scarlet, I'm gonna try to re-download it. I've done that once before, but I'm I'm gonna try to re-download it another time. Third time's the charm, they say. Oh, Skizek didn't even want to join. That's how you roll, Skizek. You better join. Okay. No, let me tell you, Andrea. Stay away from computers. You don't even want to touch those things. They're, they'll drive you crazy if you want to spend a lifetime working on them. See me? I'm crazy. Partially crazy. I've given half of my sanity to computers. Um, Miss L, is 12 considered a, an adult? Um, 12 is considered an adult when you're talking about taking medication. Once you hit the age of 12, um, that's usually when they transition you to start taking adult doses for certain types of medication. True story. Yeah, Ian, I invited everybody that was available. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, me makes 7. There's one spot left. 13 is is nothing sharky you're just a scary teenager at age 13 i don't even know what to say about that daisy my friend how's it going yeah listen to scarlet you guys she says 12 doesn't mean you're an adult which is true which is true i don't want anybody to think that 12 means you're an adult as my mom would say you're an adult when you have your own place and you're paying your own bills whatever age that is Yes. All right, so I see these two people. I'm going to invite them again. See, these are the only two people I see. All right. A random person is negative 43. So you haven't even been born yet, a random person. Your existence is purely hypothetical. I'm telling you, Scarlet, my mom is the law. So <laughs> I guess in different countries. Because it's like you're... In America, it's kind of strange. You're an adult in America when you're 18, but you cannot legally drink until you're 21. So you are old enough to vote, but not old enough to decide if you want to drink. In Jamaica, you're an adult at 18, you can drink at 18. You know, it's like, great kid, don't, don't, stupid. Let's play online before... All right, let me create a private match. Yep. A, a wise person once said, you know, being an adult is the awesomeness of being able to do everything that you wanted to do as a child, eating ice cream for dinner and everything. But being a good adult means having the knowledge to know why you should not do that. We're going to do Rumble. 
I'm gonna leave y'all with those words of wisdom. Tell you. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny, Scarlett. I guess it's because I'm a guy, and you know, as an 18 year old guy, I couldn't be like, I'm 18 now, I can go date a 25 year old woman. Like, no 25 year old woman wants to mess with an 18 year old guy. So you go sit your little butt down in that corner and, and go be a nerd in college, Kim. Alright, we're gonna call this one. <laughs> we're gonna call this one. See, so Scarlet, um, I was gonna say Scarlet, like, as we would say in Jamaica, Scarlet is calling my name, that's why I'm calling her name. Flying Spider says that he doesn't even like um, alcohol. Have I pre-ordered Smash? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, let's see. I'm gonna call this no drop shot. We're gonna call it Jelly. Oh man, so here's the funny thing, Scarlet. There are lots. <clears throat> there are lots of um, games that, as soon as they get announced, you can go pre-order them. Like Amazon allowed, you know, uh, Amazon allows me to pre-order games like even before they have a release date. Doesn't mean that it's out or anything, because I could totally jump on Amazon right now and show you that I can pre-order like certain games that don't have release dates. It just means that, you know, you're just telling Amazon, hey, when this gets a release date, please ship it to me and charge me for it. So it's like it's not a true it's not a true pre-order. But you know, it's it's a thing, I guess. Ellie says it's the opposite. Eighteen-year-old girls will will mess around with twenty-five-year-old guys. See, that's a double standard, Ellie. We need to uh, abolish. You know what? No, we should not. Forget that. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say something. Oh, we need to abolish that double standard. But the truth is, we should not leave that double standard right there. Oh yeah, random person. Amazon bought Twitch, so I get Twitch Prime included with my Amazon Prime. Isn't that wonderful? I kind of understand what Twitch Prime does, but I'm working on it now. All I know it's that it's no ads on Twitch, which is good enough for me. Twitch Prime is nice, says Flying Spider. I mean, I get a crown next to my name. Oh man, Ellie, let me tell you. 18 year old me was like, <laughs> I don't know. 18 year old me was a fairly mature guy, but other 18 year old guys in my age group, they were definitely not mature. We were, we were the same people that we were at like 60. We're playing video games and just chilling. That's why 18 year old girls couldn't stand us. Oh, that's a good goal! Goal, Kenny! Purr, 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 purr. All right. I need to get that air horn sound effect. BMX Kid says that his B day is coming. What do you got planned, BMX Kid, for your B day? I tell you, yeah, let's let's do this this mature talk. I'm telling you, Ellie, it's so awesome to be, you know, mature for your age, except that in a lot of ways you tend to feel excluded from things or you just don't get certain things like, okay. Some of the conversations that your counterparts have, it's like it doesn't make any sense to you. Oh, steak and shake sounds great, BMX. I could go for some steak and some shake right now. No worries, Gare. Nobody ever truly feels like an adult. 
that's something I've learned about adulting. I've I've adulted for the last ten years, and you don't ever truly feel like, oh, I'm an adult now. I'm no longer a kid. I remember even talking to my mom about. It. I was like, Mom, when I was younger, I always thought you felt like an adult, and she was like, Nope. Like you just feel like who you are. <laughs> Your mom is also allergic to lobster, Ellie. Yes. Your mom and I would get along just fine. But lobster does taste good though. You know what, Madros? I don't know. My grandparents are dead, so I can't really talk to them about that. But if you could, Madros, interview your grandparents and ask them if they feel like adults, like how different they feel from being from when they were younger. They're probably, I think they're just going to say, well, certain things hurt and you get tired a little bit quicker and everything, but they don't feel, you know, fundamentally different. <laughs> Makes her <laughs> Oh, man, see, Majros, you're lucky. You have step ones. Lucky. You lucky duck. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, the lobster makes her act that way, Ellie, or is it the medication that allows your mom to tolerate lobster? Wait, did Scarlet just score? I know Scarlet scores and I didn't score. I need to get myself on the scoreboard. Scarlet is my measuring um, stick. If she scores, I gotta score too. The lobster. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's quite the reaction. See, for me, it's like... <coughs> Excuse me. If I have lobster, my throat just swells up and gets all itchy. <laughs> hey there, Adrian. They talk about... Well, Majros, to be honest, I talk about feeling old a lot. But when I say, you know, when I talk about me feeling old and stuff, it just means like, man, I have to stretch before I go to the gym or I'm going to be in pain later. Whereas when I was younger, I could just run around and do whatever I wanted without stretching. Never had to worry about it. So in that regard, I'm like, man, I feel old. Jay, yeah, you can play. Which is true, Ellie. You should totally stretch before you do any sort of physical activity, kids. Even if you don't feel it, it's good for your muscles to help them to, to be prepared for use. Oh man, young Rosé, I see you. The JTVs know what's up. Hey there, Chris. What's up, bro? Oh, man, Andrea. It's... My personal take on it is that it's fine, you know, to feel old in certain regards. Sharky just scored and I didn't score. But, you know, don't, lo don't lose what is essentially you. You know, when you were young, you had this sense of wonder of things you wanted to do in life. No matter how old you feel, do those things. You know, if you always like to travel, no matter how old you feel still travel you know make time for the for the child within see jtv is, is over here dropping wisdom on you guys too darn i missed that why do i keep missing that well, do it, Gear. Becoming a SoundCloud rapper is free. Yeah, Andrea, like... The truest thing about getting old is that you're only as old as you tell yourself. You know, because there are definitely like... 70, 80 year olds out there that are living lives that I wish I could live. You know, like, man, I want to be like you when I grow up. It's like you know, you you're you're well on track, Andrea. Don't worry too much about it. You're well on track. Can't touch that. <laughs> oh, it's overtime. All right. I got to score. It would be great if I could just score right now when my team needs me. Then again, I can't even touch the ball this whole round. So 
No, Bala. Not you. Not you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo. No. <laughs> Scarlet, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me, Scarlet? We had an agreement. You score one, then I score one. Hey there, Nuth Visset. What is up? Do I have black markets or random person? I don't think I do right now. <laughs> oh man, see Ellie, I'm at the stage now where it's like when people ask me, like, hey, wouldn't it be great if you could go back to high school, you know, and just relive all those things? And I'm usually like, no. <laughs> like, I'm at the stage now where I'm actually like, I'm cool with my age, I'm cool with where I am in life. It's like, I do not want to go back anywhere in life. Like, you know, life is good right now. I have all the freedom, you know, that I wanted and everything. Right, Scarlet? <laughs> Forget high school. <laughs> oh man, high school was high school was fun and all and all that good stuff for me. But it's done, and I'm glad that it's done. You know, but being an adult is a lot more fun. Hey there, is that Kyle I spy? Says that saying that he can't even play. Don't you say those words, Kyle? Don't you say those words? Uh oh, next match is starting. Hey there, Lost Prince. Exactly, Scarlet. Being an adult has, you know, it has a lot of freedom. As long as you're adulting right, because there are definitely a lot of adults out there that don't have freedoms, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> True, Ellie, it was a simpler time. It was definitely a simpler time. But you know, the longer you're an adult for, the better you get at it. So, you know, you're a fresh adult. So, you know, take heart, my friend, that it, you get better and better at it every single year, every single day. No, no, no. I knew it. I could feel the crash coming on. I was like, you know what, I feel my Rocket League stuttering. There it is. I'm gonna rejoin. Don't you guys go anywhere. Oh, you guys all got kicked out. Yeah, it's because my, my Minecraft crashed. Sorry, y'all. Oh, Kenny's Minecraft crashed as well. At least I don't feel alone. There you go, Kyle. We can snap and chat and all these wonderful things. Well, Ellie, you felt old forever. Now you get to actually be old and enjoy it. What was I least expecting as an adult? All right, so this and I'm not even I'm not even kidding. This is what I least expected as part of being an adult. Like, little things, if I don't buy them, I will run out of them. Like, toilet paper, um, cotton swabs, you know, little Q-tips. All those little things that you have, that you just seem to have in your house, someone has to buy them. And when, <laughs> and when I became a legit adult, it was like, wait, I don't have any cotton swabs. And it's like, oh yeah, because I didn't buy cotton swabs and now I have to remember to buy cotton swabs or I won't have any of those. So it's like, that was the biggest surprise to me. Like those little things that you always seem to have in your house, paper towels, cotton swabs, as an adult, it's like, it's your responsibility to buy them. And if you don't, you are not going to have them and you're going to suffer. That was the biggest shock to me, to be honest. Everything else was just like, you know, I was more or less prepared for it. Kid you guys not. Kid you guys not. I see Scarlet's car over here. She's rocking the crown. That's you rocking the crown, right, Scarlet? We're both rocking crowns. Marlene says, throw away your switch. Well, I wouldn't say that. Hey there, Naam. Well, Gear, make sure you have cotton swabs just in case you ever need them.
See, exactly, Queen Helena. And that's the thing, too. Actually, no, KGG. Luckily, I, I'm in the habit of checking for toilet paper before I use the toilet. So it's just like, okay, gotta get this, like, right now. I do it after I shower, Flying Spider, because the steam from the shower tends to loosen your earwax, so you're not just stuffing it further into your ear, you're kind of just, you know, you're cleaning it. Alright, let's see. And that's also another thing that Queen Helen just said, like, girls used to, te to bully her when she was 15 because she didn't act all growing up, and now, you know, they look like they're 40 when Queen Helen still looks like a teenager. I know this, I've seen her. She looks like a teenager, guys. <laughs> And that's another thing too, a lot of people that you have in your life now, a lot of friends that you have, like, you will not talk to most of them when you're done with school. Oh, don't do that, Gear. That's how you rupture your eardrums. And then go deaf. Marlene, you're giving bad advice right now. Don't listen to Marlene, guys. She's stressed out. She had some exams today. She's still a little bit stressed out. Exactly, Flying Spider. If I'm feeling particularly adventurous, I'll use a little bit of alcohol to, to wet the cotton swabs for cleaning the outer part of my ear. Oh, man. Maddie, what was the, the weather like up there in the Great White North today? Jay! No! Rosé, you're half deaf, well... Try not to become all the way deaf, trust me. When was the last time I was drunk? The last time I was drunk, KGG, was the first time I was drunk. I do not get drunk. I actually don't really drink a whole lot, to be honest. Like, the last time I had a drink was, like, I want to say a solid year plus ago, almost two years ago. It's like, I don't. It's just not my thing. I didn't score that, so <laughs> I don't get my score. See, Queen Helen has never been drunk before. There you go. Nah, <laughs> glad it. I wouldn't call alcohol happy juice. I think happy people are just happy people. If you need alcohol to be happy, then you know maybe you're not as happy as you think. Well, Flying Spider, a lot of college kids would. Snap! I got my goal! We're there, Scarlet. We're, we're even now. Yes, we're even. Good. <laughs> nah, that's fine, Gaudi. Hey there. Crazy Con GD. Oh, that's you, Wonder. Okay, I see you. Exactly what, what the adult Andrea says. Be good kids. There you go. I agree with you, Pip Arrow. We all need love to be happy. That's what we need. Right, KGG? I like to call it rotting vegetables. I stole Jay's gold. Jay doesn't mind though, Karate Pro. There you go. I agree, Maddie. It, do it doesn't actually taste good. <laughs> cheese is also rotting milk. You know? And some types of cheese is just rotting cheese, which is like double rotting milk.
I'm not even the leader of this room anymore, so I can't change the settings. Yes, I can. All right, now I'm going to change it for you guys. We're going to do some hoops. Let me turn on my mutator. Yep. See, wise words from Scarlet. Beer hurts you. It, it causes a lot of bad, you know, damage to your liver. And you can form an addiction. Also, you get beer belly, which doesn't look good on anybody. Huh. Exactly, Scarlet. You look like you look like a scary teenager. Like you're still eighteen. And look, you know, like there you go. And look at look at life now, guys. Being a nerd is like is considered attractive, and you know, and all these good things now. So there you go. Shout out to all my nerds out there, though. Wait, is Maddie leaving? Maddie can't be leaving right now. There's so much we didn't talk about, Maddie. So much is being left unsaid. There you go. Guys, take it from Scarlet. Nerds are hot, so if you're a nerd, just keep being a nerd. Oh, she has to study. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Rocket League, don't be acting up. Good goal, though, Wander. Yo, you know what? I have never played D&D &D as yet, and I really want to. Like, ever since I was younger, I wanted to play D&D, &D, but I didn't know any, you know, like, anybody that wanted to play or any dungeon masters in Jamaica. Rosé, you have Ray-Bans? My glasses right now are Ray-Bans, actually. My, my last three glasses have been Ray-Bans. Is that gonna be a goal? Is that gonna be a goal? That's a legendary goal. Woo! Look at that goal though, bright with the skills. Alright. No, actually KGG, I believe Scarlet was a dungeon master. Were you Scarlet? See, I'm afraid of contacts. Like, I tried contacts this year again when I got these glasses and as soon as I put the, the contacts in, my eyes literally just non-stop start watering. Like, it does not stop. It's just like, I even told my, my, um, my ophthalmologist, like, I can't do contacts. And he was like, yeah, maybe your, your eyes are reacting to the, the contacts. And I was like, all right, I'm fine. Didn't work out, Andrea. My eyes ran water like Niagara Falls. So that's why I'm sticking with glasses right now. Next time I get my eyes tested, I'll I'll keep trying the contacts to see if, you know, maybe as I age, <laughs> my eyes become less sensitive. But it felt so bad. Like, my eyes were literally just pouring water the whole time. Also, hello there, person from the Ukraine. What language do they speak in the Ukraine? God used to make and draw maps by... Lots of dice, and you had little risk pieces. Oh snap! Scarlet, I'm gonna have to hire you as my DM. They speak Ukrainian. See, I was gonna say that they spoke Russian for a while. I don't know anything about Ukrainian. All I know is that Ukraine is full of beautiful people. Oh man, flying spider! Go, go get another exam. I get my eye, my eyes checked every two years. So every two years I get new glasses and I try contacts hoping that they work. Hey there, golden shot. Oof. You know, dankest gamer, Kyle. Actually, I scratched my cornea the first time I tried contacts and then I vowed to never try contacts and I didn't touch contacts for many years until Andrea convinced me to be a brave a brave young man and go try them. Wasn't bad, but my eyes were just not having it. Ah, a person from the Ukraine. You understand English a little. Well, we love you, person from the Ukraine. The Ukraine is full of beautiful people. We're so jealous. Or at least I'm jealous. Oh man, KGG, just put the contacts in like 
wrong and be nervous, <laughs> you'll scratch your cornea, sure enough. Oh snap, Andrea does have pretty good complexion, you know, I like to think that she got it from me. You know, so, a compliment to her is a compliment to me, that's just it. Everything is blurry without my glasses, actually. Nah, KGG. Let your let your um, ophthalmologist put the contacts in for you the first time around. Winston ate your glasses, Ellie. That sounds like a Winston thing to do. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Something tells me that Winston is the true first ask questions later kind of kind of doggy. Not, both my eyes are, are pretty blurry. I think my my right eye is a little bit worse than my left. Actually, KGG contacts are not super expensive. I mean, they're not prohibitively expensive as far as I know. You know what, Scarlet? I also have nice and bouncy hair. It's just really short. You know, so I'm, I'm really jumping on the Andrea bandwagon right now. I'm riding her coattails to beauty. Um, age limit, KGG. I believe there's a lower age limit for contacts. And that's there's no hard age on that. You just have to... Your ophthalmologist just has to deem that you're responsible enough and mature enough to handle contacts. And to understand how germs work. And to know that you don't just stick them in your eyes and take them out your eyes. You know, like... Because it's a very serious risk of infection if you don't handle your contacts properly. I'm telling you, Scarlet. Andrea is a beautiful individual. I too am a beautiful individual. That's just how that works. You know. That's the <laughs> that's gonna be me, Andrea. When <laughs> when Andrea becomes like a, a pop star or you know a supermodel slash scientist, I'm gonna be that person in the crowd like. Me too, me too. I'm totally like her. Get out of here. Like, me too, guys. Uh, you have to, like, you have to um, take a little bit of months. Because, you know, Great Pyrenees tend to be a little bit headstrong when it comes to what they want. You have to take a few months, Ellie, to um, to help Winston to understand that your glasses are not toys. They're not food. So he shouldn't try to taste them or play with them. Colored contacts are, are the same, actually, KGG. Good, Well-made colored contacts will feel the same as regular prescription contacts. And you can also get prescription contacts that are colored. Hey there, Jordan. Ian, you're dying your hair soon. To what color, though? See, you Flying Spider, you're you're wearing your glasses like, <laughs> like an old person. Like I only wear them when I need to see something. Oh man, Gary, this is me. This is my hair after I haven't cut it for... How long haven't I cut my hair for now? I haven't really cut my hair for a solid... I want to say like 10 months now. Oh man, Andrea. I, you did not get that shortness. You know, on my behalf. I'm 6 feet tall. You guys are shorty. Um, person from the Ukraine. I am broadcasting live out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Alright, we'll do snow day. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Ellie. He'll take years to not be that way. Ellie's 5'7". She, Ellie's a, a tall drink of water. Wonder is wrecking you guys. Oh, I get you, Flying Spider. I mean, as long as you're not straining.
Scarlet says she doesn't think a guy would date you if you're a giant girl. What's the what is the how tall is a giant girl, Scarlet? At least says she's tall and, and short at the same time. Well, from my scientific research, guys in general prefer shorter girls because it makes them feel more like they're, you know, as the guy, they're protective of the girl. You know, it's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a tall guy and you're a shorter girl. I can, you know, like, protect you. And that tends to be, like, the reason. It's, you know, it's sort of, like, built into our biology as men to feel like we can protect the people that we care about. Hey there, Switch player. What is up? Water mug, you're so late. But not too late, mind you. Six foot tall is a giant girl. I'm a, well, I'm a guy, so six foot tall doesn't make me close to being a giant. I got you. A six foot tall girl would be like, you know. Well, of course, and that's, that's, I am not at all saying that women can't protect themselves or that women shouldn't want to protect, you know, the people that they care about as well. I think we should all protect the people that we care about, whether it's a man, a woman, you know, a dog, or, you know, we should all be able to protect the people that we care about but I'm just saying that you know biology biologically speaking and you know when it comes to to that traditionally the male is the one that that you know does the physical protection because you're talking you know before civilization where it was right now is where it was right now when we were you know hunter gatherers the men would be the hunters and the women would be the gatherers and as a hunter you know we have testosterone to give us the muscles to be able to get swole and to you know hunt and provide but nowadays it's like it it doesn't matter you know we provide in different ways and you know i can tell you women what men have physically through testosterone and everything, women's brains are adapted to compensate for it. I don't... <laughs> oh, man. I <laughs> Male biology is hilarious, Scarlet. Because I'm not going to lie, I would totally take a bullet for the people that I care about. I'm not even just saying that. It's like, if anything happened you know to the to any of the people that i care about i wouldn't even need to think about it like i would totally take several bullets for the people that i care about hands down all right wonder it's all yours Wait, if I push this around... No, 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 no! I saw that in slow motion. You know what, Galati? I would take a bullet for you too, man. Um, Do I announce my streams on Snapchat? I don't, um, Kyle. I mainly just announce my streams on Twitter and on Discord. Well, there you go, Ellie. You know, you do the avenging, and we'll do the sacrificing. It's a balance. That's the thing. You know, men and women, we we complement each other. It's not a matter of anybody being higher up. It's just you know where we lack the fairer the fairer sex um, makes up for it. Oh man, person from the Ukraine, you should totally come to Florida. We have Disney World here. I keep trying. I keep saying that we have Disney World here. We also have Universal Studios Orlando. We have Great Beach. See Scarlet. Some men are idiots. Some men are just idiots, and I apologize for those men. Can't believe it's tied right now.
the Ellie, Ellie, you're working against me right now, and guys, Ellie is stressed. You know, she's had a she's had a long day. She's a little bit stressed. Don't listen to her about the hurricanes. We do have the Miami Hurricanes, I believe, is what Ellie was trying to say, which is a great football team. You know, so that that is good. If you're a fan of Florida, you should definitely be a fan of the Miami Hurricanes. Actually, Dankis Gamer, it it does not rain in Florida a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe you come to Florida like during the the rainy season. But Florida is the sunshine state for a reason. Oh man. So that's not the one that went to New York. Or is are you talking about the one that went to New York, Scarlet? You know, Ellie, you you are not hired to be part of the Tourism Board of Florida. Disney is a safe place. I mean, nowhere is safe. But if you're going to be unsafe, you might as well be surrounded by, by princesses, princes and pirates. Not the one that went to New York. But I thought something went down with the one that went to New York, Scarlett. I thought he was not good. I guess we'll we'll talk off air. You know, I don't want you to be sharing your private business on my stream. Am I gonna play Splatoon two tonight, Adrian? I I don't I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> A music amusing amusement parks I guess you could say they scare you they scare you scare you okay just slow that down a little bit can't have them scoring now can we right spider we're gonna have another Splatfest this weekend so we gotta save our splatooning, man. Yeah, I don't mess with SeaWorld, <laughs> Ellie. But, you know, statistically speaking, you're, you're way more likely to die driving to Disney World than you are to die there. All right, here's the time for salt, y'all people. Ooh, packet loss. Yo, Maddie, I could totally go for some smiley fries. <laughs> that would make my day. Oh yeah, Scarlet, I'm gonna be sampling some some more Blaze Blue online, and I'll definitely be getting it when it drops. I need to mark that on Yeah, Scarlet, on Discord you should check them out. They're literally like French fries but in the shape of smileys. You know what, Ellie? I think you're just exaggerating a little bit. Florida is not that bad, Ellie. I can't tell the last time I've seen a shark here. Or anything like that. You know, it's it's good. I promise you, Ellie. You'll be safe in Florida. That's a that's a chem easy guarantee. Oh man, Scarlet, they posted um I think Maddie posted pictures of smiley fries in Discord. It's they are cute. Exactly, <laughs> Maddie. Humans are way more likely to kill sharks than sharks are to kill humans. Actually, I believe worldwide there are like maybe four reported shark deaths per year. I'll take that risk, Ellie, because you will not die in Florida. This is not the place for that. All that's gonna happen in Florida is that you're gonna have a relaxing time by the beach 
where you can just sit and contemplate, you know, whatever it is that Ellie contemplates. It'll be great. I've never been to Disneyland, Marlene. Disney World is actually pretty fun. Alright, Maddie. Enjoy the, the HW. <laughs> Don't worry about the shark attacks, Ellie. They're statistically insignificant. Hey, Dark Jelly, what is up? And yo, mo wait a second. Am I getting raided by Kevin Tendo? Hey, welcome, all you K10 raiders. I see you, Potato Addict. V Fernando, welcome, welcome, all you K10 raiders. Look at them, look at them. And Kevin himself. Who looked, you know what? <laughs> Kevin, I cannot get it out of my mind that you totally look like that lion now from Madagascar. I, I saw it on Twitter. I had to retweet it. I was like, this you could totally be him for Halloween. Welcome, all you <laughs> Kevin Tendo Raiders. Potato Addict, thank you for subscribing. Yes, Graceful Slumber, I, I have the beloved Daybot. Yep, also there you guys go, there's a link to Kevin Tendo's channel. For all my viewers who don't know who Kevin Tendo is, you should totally know by now. There's a link. Click on it, go to his channel, subscribe to his channel, click all the like videos, and become one with the K10 crew. They're pretty awesome people. Antonio Gonzalez, thank you for subscribing as well. Wait, um, Flying Spider, or someone on Discord, please share the... the yeah, please, Maddie, share the picture with her. Yes, I'm telling you, Kev. When I saw it, I died laughing. I was like, man, you're here. <laughs> you're here, Kev. It's totally like, it's your hair is all lion. I was going to say Mufasa. But the guy from, from, <laughs> from Madagascar works too. I have a smooth voice. Uncoming. Thank you so much for that. I like I like hearing that I have a smooth voice. My switch code, um, your mom will be posted in the chat. Just keep an eye out. Send me a friend request. Let me know what your name is on the switch. I tell you, Gianluca. These people are they're fast. I don't even like drop shot mode though, to be honest. It's it's salt. Yeah, it does actually, person from the Ukraine. Florida is named after, you know, the blooming. It was originally named by the, the Spanish people, the Spanish conquistadors that came here first. They call it La Florida. He's Ellie. You talk about Florida not being safe, Ellie, but then the first thing you want to do in Florida is go do something unsafe. Ellie, I can't even with you right now. All right, Maddie, I'll snap you. No, I can't play without ball cam. Do I play this with a room code, Dark Jelly? Yeah, I do actually, but never with a password. Makunga the Lion. I need to remember that name. Hey there, Z Man. What is up? Yeah, burglar. I'm gonna accept your friend request after this you know what <laughs> Scarlett you're not the first person that says that you wouldn't eat them because they're too cute yep as Uncommon said learning how to swim is is very good I mean any anywhere really learning how to swim is a good skill to have Yeah, you can join Z-Man. After this match, I'll um, redo my party. Your parents are going to be in Orlando in September, Ellie. There you go. 
right there on the front door of Disney. Ellie is... <laughs> Ellie's the person that's like, Florida is not safe, but when I go there, I'm gonna do these unsafe things. Minecraft is all right, Scarlet. I'll, I'm open to doing more Minecraft with you guys. I would not play Minecraft by myself, though. You love snakes and danger, Ellie. Well, Florida is also the place for you. Not that I'm saying Florida is dangerous, but we have a little something for everybody. Alright, so who do I need to, um, who hasn't played as yet? Z-Man, you look like I haven't played with you as yet. Alright, let's do this. Queen Helen says she survived Florida. I think the most dangerous thing Queen Helen did is in Florida was climb stairs. Florida does have flavor, Scarlet, I assure you of that. Surviving Tampa was a bigger deal, Queen Ellen. I survived Tampa too. <laughs> ah. Yes, Flying Spider, you should buy something for your GF. Get her a, a nice um, bouquet. You know, girlfriends like bouquets. Or edible arrangements. It's better than a bouquet because it's like flowers, but you can eat it. Oh, burglar, I needed to accept your friend request? I thought I did. Let me do that real quick. Oh man, uncommon. We were in Tampa like last week. We went to Bush Gardens. I selectively read what I want to read, Flying Spider. I feel like it works out. Well, Andrea, let's we're gonna we're gonna make sure that Flying Spider is not single for next year. So we're gonna we're, that's that's we're gonna make that happen, Flying Spider. I'm gonna send an edible arrangement to someone. Say that it's from Flying Spider. My party? I can't even find more people. Alright. Alright, so Kev, on edible arrangements, you get um, chocolate dipped strawberries. Hey there, Jonah Cat, and thank you for subscribing. You get chocolate dipped strawberries, you get pineapples, which I absolutely love. You get, um, I believe you get bananas as well. You get watermelon. Yeah, Uncommon is right, like. And you can customize it too. If there are certain things you don't want, you can tell them. Like, you can customize it. But all the fruits are so good, bro. Like, really yummy. The best thing about Valentine's Day is at work, whenever the females get edible arrangements, I eat them. <laughs> you know what, Scarlet? I too have, have this hair, the naturally curly and bouncy hair. My hair is actually super long. It's just so curly that it's this short on top of my head. Hey there. Bonzi squad that like if I grabbed like one strand of my hair and pulled it out Let me tell you see this is how long my hair is if I pulled like one strand of it up But my hair is just so darn curly that it curls like right down onto my head if I straighten it though Then it's like I got a fro going oh Man Andrea, I would not want to see your hair if you like straightened it out like you would have hair like all the way down your back girl Is my party full yet? Oh man, don't straighten your hair then Marlene. Try not straightening it and just embrace it. Embrace the unstraightened hair.
Oh, it's going good, Z-Man. How was the party, bro? I hear that it was lit. Alright, so I think my party is full, so I'm going to go ahead and private match, and I'm going to create one. But I think straight hair is cool, too, because there are lots of hairstyles that you guys can do with straight hair that curly hair people, like... We have to fight our hair to get it to even resemble looking straight. Like I am sure Andrea has spent many and uh, many hours trying to get her hair into like a certain style or anything like that. Oh snap! All right, see you later, Kevin. Tendo, love you too, man. Enjoy Zumba, man. Keep in rhythm. Oh, it's one twenty-eight in Ukraine. All right. Bye, person in Ukraine! Get some sleep. Oh wait, I can't- someone in my party who's the- who's the leader, please create a match and let me know what this match is, because it says I'm not the leader, or make me the leader, who's this? Bala, please make me the leader of the party. And I'll- I'll go from there. Once I become the leader of the party, then I'll go ahead and um, make it. Wait, Jonah Cat has homework. Alright, Jonah Cat, knock out that homework. Do that. See, I tell you guys, pros and cons. Like, curly hair people struggle to get their hair to even be a little bit straight for certain hairstyles. And then straight hair people struggle to curl their hairs a little bit for certain hairstyles. I tell you. We balance each other out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and create the match. Alright, so we'll start with... Mad Lenny. With Snow Day? No. Rumble. We'll do another Rumble. Alright, see you later Gianluca. Take it easy. We're just gonna call this one, uh... Toast. Oh man, see, that's another thing too, Ellie. Like, thick-haired people have a different set of, you know, of issues to deal with. That's a whole lot of work to comb out and brush out and detangle. Oh wait, people are saying I should accept friend request. KA1 Beast, Kai Beast, let me accept your friend request. That's when you call Rufus over, Toast, and just give him a nice blast of it. Okay, Bonzi Squad is C9. Okay, I'm gonna accept your friend request as well. There you go. Wait, is Mez here? A wild Mez. Where is Mez? <laughs> that's true, Toast. Rufus would be like, that's nothing. Check mine out. Oof. Straight in your face. Oh, there is Mez. What are you up to, Mez? Behold, Mez lurketh. Hey there, Flaming Red Aislin. Scorch says he's gonna go play Fortnite. Alright, no problem, Aislin. Yeah, you can totally play on PC. Go, go, go! Darn it! Yeah, there's a room name. The room name is Toast, and there is no password. Wait, did the death, the Grim Reaper guy just dab? I need to see this again. Darn it. No caps, um, Flaming Red. Poof. Okay. Yes.
What time do you have sunset, Ellie? It's what, it's 7.08 for you already? The next stream, Kyle, will be <laughs> Scorch. No? Probably on Friday. Or Thursday, actually. The next stream will be on Thursday. Z-Man scored, okay. Yeah, like, I've played Overwatch here and there, but, yeah. It's like, I don't really feel excited to play Overwatch like I do other games. Why did I say Overwatch? I mean Fortnite. I like playing Overwatch. Freudian slip. Darn it, I thought I pulled that. Bala still scored. Yeah, at any given time, there are like a couple hundred people on YouTube streaming Fortnite and even more people on Twitch streaming it. Yeah, Mez is a PC player. Um, Aislinn. Yeah, the shop I've been meaning to make, Ellie, for the past few months, just haven't gotten around to it as yet. Ooh. No, 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 no. Whoa, that was way too close for comfort. No, I tried. <laughs> oh man, Scarlet. I feel like I need to make another Rip My Wallet video. Last year in November, I basically made a video talking about games that I wanted to get, and I was like, rip my wallet. So now it's going to be Mario Tennis. It's going to be, what? After that, it's going to be Monster Hunter. It's going to be Super Smash Brothers. Like, man, it's round two of rip my wallet. Pokemon, like, I'm, I'm buying all the things. That too, KGG. Blaze Blue. Oh, Elite Bank Heist is a game that you can play with my um, chatbot. They could give you a, a demo of it. Could someone start a Bank Heist? Por favor. I'm telling you, Scarlet, plus this year we have to pay for online, so, you know, add that, you know, add another 20 bucks to, to your entire budget. Do I have any coins? I don't think I have any coins, Maddie. I don't believe I accumulate coins. So close. Oh, I need to change it to just pound currency. Oh, Daisy, you speak Spanish? Nice. But I don't, though, Flying Spider. I don't. 
That's the problem. Rip our wallets, Scarlet. But hey, totally worth it though. <laughs> you darn millennials and your hashtags. Back in my day, KEG, it wasn't called a hashtag. You could call it a hash symbol, yes. Exactly, number sign is the most common name. Scorch, once Monster Hunter drops, I'll be I'll be hunting. The room is actually full, so after like the next two rounds, it's not reward, Flying Spider. It's um, geez, I don't even remember. I don't know what I'm talking about. You may be right. Overtime. Queen Helen is extorting coins from Till Sky. Alright, see you later, uh, random person. It's been fun, bro. I think you've scored most of the goals on my team. Right, Scarlet? It's so awesome now. Like, the amount of games that are on the Switch, plus the amount of games to come. Oh, they're making a rocket pass in Rocket League? That's kind of cool. Wait, what am I even doing? I need to zone in on this. Oof. Hey. Later. How are you? Good. Is my mom still here? Yes, she is. Oh, yeah. Not today, gentlemen. Oh, that looks like it could be a goal. Oh, blocked by Flaming Red. Got booted out. Scorch, why do you want a Fortnite stream so badly? Like, do you just want to play Fortnite with me? We can do that. I mean, you'd still have to carry me, because I'm a knob. <laughs> you know, Switch guys are hotter than home console guys. <laughs> Out of shape, potato chip eating, pizza eating, soda drinking, guys. <laughs> ah, that's a good one, Scarlet. I'm totally a Switch guy, by the way. You know, Flying Spider, you're also a Switch guy. We're both Switch guys on this blessed day, you know. I hit the gym, I work out. That's how we do. Gotta stay trim. Oh wait, I don't even have this part. Alright, I'll let it run another time. I'm a I'm a Switch and PC kind of person. <laughs> the room name is Toast, actually. Was that? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there you stuff. What's up? Uh, Luis T. Pregunta Castillo. My friend code will be posted in the chat. Just keep an eye out. Alright, I'm gonna spectate this one. July, oh man, Mez. I hope that we would have gotten it earlier. Also, what's up, Matthew? Oh, Rocket League, why you do this to me? I tell you, my my Rocket League is very unstable. I don't know why. It just happens. Let's try that again. My epic account name scorches Kim Easy. Come on now. It's not even my Switch though, Miz. I don't even know what the deal is. It doesn't happen on any of my other games, just Rocket League. It's so weird. Yeah, it, it's totally the game, Scarlet, but I don't know, you know, what it is about the game. I, I've removed Rocket League before and re-downloaded it. And it, it looks like I'm gonna have to do that again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give that a try, Scarlet. Oh, Yusuf, you're Egyptian, nice. Oh, don't archive it, gotcha. I will never sleep, apparently. Yeah, sure, Sky. I don't even think it, it affects my items or anything. But it's just, it's pretty annoying how the game just crashes at the worst times too. Is there any way to actually wipe everything the KGG such that it removes any locally saved data on the Switch? Probably. I think that's what I need to do, like, if I can completely, completely wipe all traces of Rocket League off my Switch. Not, not necessarily for, for space, it's just my Rocket League keeps crashing, and I want to purge all the data off my Switch just to see if that remedies the situation, because there's not much else I can do. I've already um, messaged Psyonix about it. See, Sharky's gonna go play some Splatoon. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna look up. Look it up. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly what Scarlet is saying. Psyonix basically said that I should try, you know, completely deleting the game data. Downloading it again. You know, if not, they'll be looking, they'll be looking into updating the game to see if there's anything that they can fix. And on the Switch, I don't know how to send a crash report on the Switch, so it's not like I can't send them any technical data. Okay, so data management and then manage software save data. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> 
Well, I it, I think if it inc if it involves homebrew in any shape or form, KGG, they wouldn't take it. I don't know that they would accept it as valid. Hey, they're super Chris Bros. Yeah, I mean, if homebrewing on the Switch looks pretty exciting, I might get an extra Switch just for homebrew. Oh no, KGG, I thought we were talking about being able to send an error report to Psyonix. KG says do that now if I'm interested. Alright, KG, I'm I'm gonna add it to my shopping list for this year. <laughs> I can't say I'll do it now. Oh of course, <laughs> Scarlet. Like I you know me, Scarlet. I buy so many games on the Switch. Even games that I I play just one I still buy, so it's not that I won't be supporting Nintendo. I think she's having some issues with the, the shipping tag, Flying Spider. The price tag, that is, and you know, she's being too stubborn. Yeah, Mez, I think they're charging like $50 to ship it. Which is a crazy shipping price, I'm not gonna lie. If I wanted to buy a Switch and they were charging me $50, I'd be like, uh, Amazon, you can do better than that. Yeah, from Amazon. But well, the thing is, I don't really know what the shipping price is on things, because I've had Amazon Prime for such a long time, it's like, I have no concept of what shipping costs these days. Oh no, that's fine, KGG, because my current Switch is not revised, so if I need to buy an extra Switch, it just means that the new Switch that I buy with the hardware revision would just become my regular Switch. That's gonna be a goal. Yup, flaming red, straight in. Alright, Ellie, what do you want from Amazon? Nah, she she's just stubborn, Scarlet. I already told her that I would just pay for the shipping. But I'm not gonna say nothing because Maddie will totally kick my butt, so shush. Shush. She's gonna beat me up. Um, when the online releases, KGG will have cloud saves. If you pay for the online, you get cloud saves. So at that point, then, you know, I won't need to hold on to this OG hardware. Speaking of OG, OG specialist, yeah, you can play with me. After this match, I'll redo the party. No, actually, Flying Spider, there are certain items that don't have the free shipping option at all. Yeah. Alright, Burglar is gonna go play some spl Splatoon, no problem. Oh, 
are we looking here? Goal scorers. Okay. Oh, Mez is rocking the skyline. <laughs> OG, I've been streaming so far for a little bit over an hour, and I don't know how much longer I have left. Scorch, you gotta go, no! Why are they selling switches for such a high price though, Scarlet? Is there anything special about these switches? It was the last switch because it was all sold out. Yeah, at this point, I don't think anybody should be paying $400 for a switch, to be honest. Not unless it's like a custom switch. Oh, Ellie, you're Muslim, are you? Ramadan is a Muslim celebration, correct? Okay, $500 switch for the Splatoon Special Edition. I don't know how to feel about uh, $500 for a Splatoon Special Edition. I mean, I get it, but I am not. <laughs> I guess I'm not that big into it into Splatoon to be dropping $500 for that. Or was it the wrong emoji, Marlene? Hmm... Was it the wrong emoji? There's something I should know. Right, Kyle? Let's both scratch our chins. Hmm... Welcome back, Jordan! Lemoji, you got your Switch for 400 What? What did you get with your Switch, Lemoji, for $400? <laughs> Marlene is running from the truth! Hey there, Epic Crossover <laughs> official, what is up? Ah, you're such a good friend then, Ellie. Celebrating with your friend, in, you know, in solidarity. That is very good. Very good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in, in, in Canada, a Switch is like $400. Oh, your Switch was a bundle. You got two games with it. Okay, in that case, Lemoji, you actually got a good, you got a good deal. Mez with the, the block, or the save. Good shot, too. No, Wii U's have... They have pretty good resale value. Because I think I sold my Wii U for like $350 or $400 or something like that. Crazy. But I also had a lot of extras with it. Right, Scarlet? Lemoji literally saved money by getting that bundle. I tell you, Lemoji's a she's a smart little gal. Yep, sold my Wii U, Ellie. It's not one of my proudest moments, but it, it happened. You should touch those games, Lemoji. I feel like you should play them more. Caden Moore, thank you. Speaking of more, Caden Moore, thank you for subscribing.
The Switch hype took over my life, Flying Spider. I was so hyped for the Switch. I was like, you know what? I'll never need this old thing anymore since the Switch is going to come into my life and just fill all these gaming needs. So I sold my Wii U. And that was the story, ladies and gentlemen, of how I sold my Wii U. It was not my proudest moment, but it happened. Don't be playing Pokken, Lemoji. We've been over this. Pokken is bad for your health. Well, Scarlet, to be honest, on the on the Switch, we're gonna have to rebuy old games too if we want them on the Switch. But at least we'll have them portable again. Mez was over his Wii U. Good riddance. <laughs> OG Specialist wants to know how old I am. OG Specialist, how old do you think I am? I always ask that for some reason. Pokken is bad for your health because it is just bad in general. Lemoji, I can tell you what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Thank you very much. I can tell you what to do if I feel like it. OG Specialist says I'm 23 years old. I was 23 years old some years ago. I'm actually 29 years old. Yep, the Switch is totally portable like a DS, Ellie. Let me... I'm gonna take my Switch out of the dock for a second so you can see. So my thing is gonna go blank. Oh yeah, you're right, Scarlet. That's good. Yeah, so Ellie, this is my Switch taken out of the dock. Like, it's completely portable. There's my Rocket League. My green screen settings are, are what's causing it to look that weird, so don't really worry about the blur. That's my green screen settings, but this is my Switch out of the dock. I can take it with me. I can play all the games on it just like that. So it is portable just like a DS Ellie. All right, let me put that back in. Yeah, that's the beauty of it, Ellie. You can play with it on the go, or you can dock it at home and play play it like a regular console. Yeah, and it has such a pretty big screen. Scarlet is right. The Switch has a big screen. For co for comparison, this is my phone, which is the, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. This is the big Samsung Galaxy. And this entire phone is about the size of my Switch's screen. Like, you have this much screen space, screen space on the Switch. The size of a big, gigantic Samsung phone. Alright, see you later, Epic Crossover Official. Thank you. Kyle, you have great Joy-Cons. Hyper Ninja, thank you for subscribing. I also have great Joy-Cons, actually. The, the neon Joy-Cons that you see on my Switch are Joy-Cons that I bought separately. Yeah, Ellie, it comes with a, a, a portable charger that you plug into the dock if you wanna if you wanna use your switch on the dock or you take the charger with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch over and reach for my portable charger so I can show you as well. Just so you see what it looks like. Which I also use to charge my phone. So this is the switch charger, Ellie. Just the regular, you know, fat back adapter with the Nintendo logo written on it. Plugs in like normal and then on the front side, it has a USB-C cable. I use it to charge my phone and my Switch. It, it's very convenient to have. Exactly what my partner in Crime Scarlet said. It's a Type-C charger. I could do a tournament, but it's like, I don't, I'll have to, to look into setting up the tournament. Exactly, Ellie. The whole, that, what I just showed you of the Switch, that is the entirety of the console. There's nothing to actually leave at home like the Wii U, where you, where you put the CDs into the Wii U console. Like, on the Switch, everything is contained in that one little unit. Right? Sleep, Kyle. Alright, so how many people do we have that still want to play Rocket League? 
If anything, I don't mind switching games. Alright, Daisy wants to also play. Alright, so let me... I'm going to send out the invitations right now. Exactly, Flying Spider. I thought the Switch... I thought that's what the Wii U was at first. Alright, I just sent out some new invitations. Yeah, Ellie, you can download all your games if you want. <laughs> Alright, see you later, Miz. Or you buy them. They don't come on CDs, they come on little game cartridges, Ellie. And this is what the Switch cartridges look like. So this is my current um, Switch case, which is the Sheikah Slate. And these are my current collection of cartridges. I have more, but, you know, this one is full. So that's what I rock. And then I have another um, case with the rest of them. So they're really small. If I pop this one out, this is Sonic Forces. It's like this big. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like a DS Ellie, but better. So much better. Because the con you can take the controls off the Switch and like literally share them. Like it's I wouldn't compare the Switch to a DS to be honest. It's a whole different level of gaming. Also, they taste bad. <laughs> I'm not going to do another one. Yes, Ellie, come over. Make the switch, Ellie. <laughs> Make the switch. Get it? Okay. <laughs> oh, your friend lost that $20, Aislinn. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go again with this room called Toast. Yes, we have, we have converted Ellie, y'all. She she has made the switch. She has switched over to the lighter side. Or the dark side, depending on how you look at it. That's what we're that's what we're doing over here. Yeah, Scarlet is right as well. Definitely Buy a screen protector for your Switch. Buy a glass screen protector and not the little cheapy plastic ones. The Switch is black for now, Flying Spider. Nintendo might just start releasing, you know, various colors. Yeah, Ellie, you can just go to Walmart and pick up a Switch. Totally. At least the Walmarts here, they have switches and, you know, screen protectors and all that good stuff. Discord Hyper Ninja is for chatting. So that's usually where a lot of my people hang out and chit chat when I'm not streaming and play games together. And post memes and all that good stuff. Hyper, you play Rocket League? Then you should join us. We have space right now in this room. Yeah, George, I'm going to be switching games um, in a little bit, actually. What? Ellie, you're, so you have like a 25% discount on a Switch then. Nice.
Lemoji, you have had you have not had enough of Splatoon as yet. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh, I stand corrected then, Lemoji. Yeah, me too, Andrea. I got my screen protector off Amazon. I bought like um, four of them too. Two two packs. Am I gonna live stream E3, Matt? I will most likely be at work during E3. Right, Scarlet? That's that's one of the downsides <laughs> to being an adult. But yeah, I'll be at work during E3. Um, while I'm at work, though, I will be watching E3. Because I can watch it on YouTube while I'm, you know, in my downtime at work. Jordan, how did you get that? A big child flying spider. <laughs> Yeah, I'll watch what I can of E3, and then when I get home, I'll watch the highlights. Oof. You have another test tomorrow, Lavoji. <laughs> you got this. Oh, I got you, Ellie. Priorities, of course. Oh man, I thought I had this. Yeah, once upon a time it was so hard to find a switch. Like they were out of stock everywhere. Now it's like it's fairly easy for you to to go into a store and get a switch. Thank goodness. The dark days are over. <laughs> I'm glad you like the colors, Kyle. Right? Scarlet? Man. I remember getting a Switch. I went to get a Switch for one of my friends. And we literally had to camp outside of Toys R Us in the morning. It was a good experience, though, because I uh, we met a lot of cool people. Alright, see you later, Flying Spider. Lemoji, why so violent?
Yeah. See, no, I got my Switch on release day, but I pre-ordered it on Amazon, so I didn't have to do anything. It just came to me. It was super hard. Yeah, Scarlet. At the time when you got your Switch, it would have been super hard. Get that assist, Flaming. <laughs> Even though I pulled it, Flaming just like was sitting in the right spot at the right time. Whoa! <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't count as a goal. I am surprised that didn't count as a goal. Marlene has hit us with the right the right emoji she says this time or is it <laughs> Oh man my release day story Andrea was oh I'm getting my switch today I'm going to leave work early so I can go home and play Breath of the Wild <laughs> and that was what I did left work early went home Play Breath of the Wild. It was a good release day. And Bomberman. Right, Andrea? How the time flies. You didn't even know that we existed. I mean, heck, at that time, I didn't even know I was going to stream. I had no intention of streaming when I bought my Switch. That Switch, when I home play Breath of the Wild, went to work, fell asleep in your car. See, I went to work... No, wait. I was lucky, Scarlet, because Switch release was on a Friday, so I had that whole weekend to just stay up and play on, and play on my Switch. It was amazing. And then when I had to go back to work on Monday, I wanted to take the Switch with me. But I didn't. That could be a goal. Jordan, no! <laughs> Jordan got rejected on that one. Nah, okay, GG. I savored Breath of the Wild. I was in no rush to beat it. Oh, yeah. I think the picture that I took on release day was everything that I bought. It was Switch, it was Breath of the Wild Special Edition, it was Bomberman, it was like, it was two Switches actually. It was a whole bunch of stuff. Oof, KGG. That was not bad. Oh, 
Darn it, someone switched out with me. Oh, you posted it on Discord, Scarlet? I'll check it out. <laughs> That's a good picture, though, Scarlet. And you have been. Actually. Is your Switch, oh, like, originally a Neon? Or no, I think you have the same Neon controls that I have. So your Switch was gray and you bought those controls. I think I see Blaze Blue on the screen there. Darn it, I, th I thought I was going to pull it in. Yeah, same. My Switch is originally gray, but as soon as I could buy the neon controls, I bought them. And then I waited to get my Pro Controller. Ah, so close. We gotta equalize. We gotta get back up there. They're kicking our butts. No! <laughs> Yeah, it would be cool if Nintendo didn't use the um, friend codes anymore and just rather let us use our names. Where's your story on Discord gear? What channel is it in? General, you say okay. Ooh, that's a long story too. You could have just said it out loud. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Ellie, you're right. That Black Friday, people were going crazy for the Switch. Save and a goal. Calculated, my boys. Calculated. Look at that. Look at that. Save and the goal. Calculated. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, 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 Come on, guys, we can equalize and, and take this to overtime. Nope, we can't equalize anymore. It's over now.
Right? Unless I scored on both of the, the tip-offs. Yep, it's over. GG. Sure, I'll set it to, to normal soccer. There we go. Yeah, that's fine, Ellie. That is totally fine. What am I doing? Matthew, what up? Oh, you want to see my Super Mario shirt, Scarlet? All right. Once I get a little, once someone scores or something, actually, there doesn't seem like a whole lot going on, so I can show you my shirt. This is this is this is the fit right now, Scarlet. What I'm rocking. It doesn't have Rosalina on it. I'm a little bit salty about that. It doesn't have Daisy on it either. So I'm also a little bit salty about that. But it has like a whole bunch of other stuff. Periodic table of Super Mario. It's two times. It's, it's double nerd. Periodic table and Super Mario. <laughs> Tell you. I think... It was from the Five Below store, Scarlet. This shirt was literally like five bucks. Oh, good goal, Waterbug. Camuela, it has been a while. Where have you been? How have you been? Why have you been? No, I'm telling you, Scarlet, I have like a whole big collection of just like t-shirts like this. Like superhero t-shirts, gaming t-shirts and stuff like that. No, Matt, you can join the match. The name, the name of the room is Toast. No password and there's space. Oh, Camilo, you've been busy with family. Okay. I hear that. My favorite superhero, Ellie. I'm going to give you one guess. Let's let's see how in sync we are. Luis, if you send me a friend request on the Switch, just let me know what your name is and I'll accept the request. Forecast, then see. <laughs> Oof. Infinity says Spider Man. Huh. Hey. Ellie knows me very well. A little bit too well, Ellie. You might have some psychic powers. And yes, you're you're 100% right. If we are talking DC 
Batman is my number one. The Flash is my number two. If we're talking Marvel, Black Panther is my number one. Captain America is my number two. And as a bonus, number three, it would also be Captain Marvel. Uh, nothing like some coding, the KGG, to calm the nerves. No, I'm 100% for real, Ellie. I don't even know. How do you even know that? <laughs> like, literally, your guess was perfect. See, Scarlet knows what's up. Scarlet knows how I feel about Captain Marvel as well, so yes. Yeah, the female. Yeah, the female Captain Marvel. Believe it or not, Scarlet, Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel are two different superheroes. But I'm specifically talking about Captain Marvel. Miss Marvel is not bad. I think Miss Marvel has the shape shifting powers. But Captain Marvel is like Marvel's Superman or Superwoman, depending on which Captain Marvel you see. I've been good. You know, Camilla, also Dr. Lion for sure, Wakanda forever. Ooh, that's a good goal. I'm just gonna say calculated, even though I had nothing to do with it. Look at that shot, though. It's so perfect. <laughs> right, Ellie? Wakanda. Alright, see you later, Camilla. <laughs> Uganda forever. <laughs> Wait, really, Majros? Mrs. Marvel became Captain Marvel? No way. So what happened? So what happened to the original Captain Marvel then? Like, how do they reconcile that? Because Captain Marvel is a different person from Miss Marvel. Did the original Captain Marvel leave and then Miss Marvel just took over the name? Yeah, Majors. The original Captain Marvel was a guy, but I... I'm fine with, with there being a, a male and female Captain Marvel. I'm more of a fan of the female Captain Marvel. Because I like her attitude. So you're telling me in one of the rotations, the Captain Marvel actually... The female Captain Marvel is Miss Marvel. How about that? Noodle, you're here. Yep, overtime. Yeah, if you're talking Teen Titans, then my favorite Teen Titan is Raven. I don't even think it's a matter of, it's it's even a competition. No! Darn it! Ooh! Good block. I nearly scored on my own team. That was super clumsy. In 2012. Oh, Carol Danvers is Captain Marvel. And she went. Wait a second. But isn't Miss Marvel someone else now, Majros? It's not Carol that's Miss Marvel anymore. Oh yeah, Luis. Everybody knows Goku. Alright. I almost went against my own team, Scarlet. That would have been bad. No! No. No, I could pull my hair out. Oh, 
They clutched us. Even though that was 4v3. Alright, so I'm gonna do... We'll do another soccer. And then after this, we'll we'll see how you guys feel about switching games. I'm telling you, Ellie, it's so uncanny. Alright, Billy, let's do this. Alright, Billy, you have to send me a friend request. I don't see a friend request here. We have people calling for Minecraft. Noodle says, I promised him Minecraft. Lemoji is threatening me with Splatoon. And in that breath, Majros, to me, Rogue will always be the Rogue with those powers. <laughs> like the fully evolved Rogue that was arguably the most powerful mutant. And Rogue is my favorite X-Men. Hey there, Iron Plant Pro. Oh, Kamala. Okay. That's one thing I don't I'm not a I don't like about um the Marvel universe the Marvel comic universe cuz I don't know what they're going to do with the cinematic universes they retcon characters so much that you know, it's like if you if you stop following it for a year it's like half the superheroes change Well Ellie I don't hate snakes I just love them from a distance a very long distance Shot! No! <laughs> yeah, DC does it too, but to a lesser extent, Majros. Because it's like, Batman has never not been Bruce Wayne, you know, in the origin story. I'm not talking about like Terry McGinnis or any future generations of Batman, but the story of Bruce Wayne has always been there. Unless you're talking like a, you know, Justice League Flashpoint or... Oh, jeez. Lightning Superman... <laughs> Lightning Superman really messed with me. Exactly. Lightning Superman messed with me. I thought it was gimmicky. What also messes with me is... In, there are a few timelines where people argue whether Superman is faster than the Flash or not. I'm like, no, the Superman should never be faster than the Flash. Ever, ever, ever. You got a pet Burmese python? Pythons are constrictors, right? They're not venomous. Yeah. They're big. <laughs> Scarlet is a Superman is a cheat code. Superman is a cheat code. That's why the Superman Nintendo 64 game sucked so much. They had no way of balancing that. <laughs> That's the thing too, Majros. I mean, the Flash literally runs through dimensions in certain timelines. Like, Flash has traveled forward and backwards in time just on sheer speed alone.
But, you know, as I've learned is Superman is as powerful as DC wants him to be or as weak as DC wants him to be. Darn it. I couldn't have done anything to stop that. I think eventually they'll they'll get there, Ellie. If you wait long enough, they'll get there. Yeah, the Flash has messed up so many timelines before. It wasn't intentional, Marlene. I was trying to block it. I don't know, Jordan. I don't believe... I think it depends on which Flash you're talking about. Whether you're talking about um, Wally West or Barry. I think Barry, like the man, Barry, the Flash, there are very few people that would that could beat him. <laughs> yeah, the reverse Flash was also another character. Oof. <laughs> Scarlet, I'd love to hear you singing that. Jesse Quick, yeah, Jesse was also good. Um, I don't see, I never really liked Zoom. Like, I have a big thing for personalities, and Zoom was definitely not my type. That could be a goal. <laughs> well, they they did a good job then, Ellie, because I don't like him. <laughs> what I always liked about um, Barry, and especially Wally, was their sense of humor. Funny people. Spider-Man also has a like a similar wit and type of sense of humor, but... Spider-Man kind of talks a little bit too much at times. Darn it. Goal! Yes! We clutched it. Really, Ellie? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, Bart was the one I was forgetting. Yeah, I mean it's also pretty similar with the Robins too if you think about it. Like how many different Robins were there? Let it go to overtime. Let it go to overtime, okay. Sure, for you, Queen Helen, sure. There were three Robins. Hey, Kevin. Just got back from Zumba. He's all rhythmed up now. My friend code, um, Luis, will be posted in the chat. Just look for my friend code in the chat and then you can send me a request. All right, see you later, Flaming. Yeah, they're, they're, you're right as well. There were multiple arrows. I've just never really followed arrows 
like a whole lot between the green arrow and speedy or any of them oh this is a good song i'm gonna listen to this while we decide all right so what game are we contemplating now it was minecraft right stephanie brown i need to look into that majros the female robin oh you have the lollipop that's cool i had a balakara actually that i traded away No, Ellie. Must get back Netflix. Yeah. They're just I have okay, polar force for Endo. Still have my Tachyon? I didn't even know that. Alright, so let's see. What are you what are you guys feeling for? What game what game are we playing again? Gary saying I should use Mr. Banana. I haven't used Mr. Banana, I don't think ever. Or maybe when I just got it, I used it. Like one for Mario Kart. Like so many people are saying Splatoon. <laughs> Guys. So many Splatoon fans. It's driving me crazy. Get on my level. Supernatural. Alright. If I do Splatoon tonight, we're gonna be leveling. Or we're gonna be productive at Splatoon. If we do Splatoon again. So many people want to keep doing Splatoon. If we do Splatoon, it's gonna be productive Splatoon. The thing is, at this point, it doesn't make any sense for me to do a poll. I already know what the results of the poll would be. You gotta be kidding me! So, where is Noel? Oh snap, Ruby characters all up in this place. Oh, uh, Noel isn't isn't selectable. Wait, she should be. No, I only get one character from each thing, so I can't select Noel. I get my butt kicked because I'm not using Noel. All right. We'll go with Rose. Hi. And we'll go against... You, Narukami. 
Yeah, Vedros. <laughs> Ruby Rose. I like using Noel from. Um... Right, let me see. I'll go with the Ruby. Oh, Gare, this is Blaze Blue. If you're scared, you can just stand back and watch. Same to you, Hyde. You don't have to fight if you're scared of me showing you up. Roger that. Oh, wait, hold on! He's a knock. Guess that's one idea. Let me work with you. I won't be able to do this other Blaze way. Blue, <laughs> Gare. Oh, As in the color. Just don't fall behind. Yeah, you'll handle it. Ah, I could have gotten the combo off in the corner. Alright. I'm liking Ruby Rose though. I might have to work her I might have to work her into my rotation for Blaze Blue. Whether here or in the Hollow Knight, I can't avoid fighting. Sorry, Ruby. I'd like your help, but I don't want to subject you to these endless attacks. Nah, it's okay. As a huntress, it's my duty to help those in need. Yeah, Ruby's pretty legit, Smadros, but I prefer yellow. I think yellow is pretty cool. I like her fighting style. Alright, so let me go ahead and change up the stream details. We'll do some productive... Splatoon, and then I don't want to hear anything about Splatoon until the Splatfest. I tell you, Marlene, it's a hard knock life. Hey there, Enki Enki, how's it going? As they say, Marlene, if you can't beat them. <laughs> really? Use my hacking beacons, please. That's hilarious. Silently waiting for Octo expansion. Watch Mr. Coins.
Flower Kid, there's Miku, Bacon, Steven. Alright, so let's take over a regular battle because um, Salmon Run is closed, which kind of sucks. Okay, they're Daff. Got put in with like a level 96 person. Ah, Lemoji got put in with me. Ain't that cool. Get that sniper moving around a little bit. Yep, strange as it is, Ellie, the skin is your is considered as your largest organ. Ah, oof, I backed straight up into that. Where is that person going? I'm like really not paying attention. Alright, let's do this. It's time for us to push out on these fools. Show them what's up. Ah, I need some backup. Come on. I tried so hard. My team, Lemoji, we struggled. We tried. Lemoji was over there covering some turf though. Look at that. That was so close. Point one, and it was a 3v4 Lemoji. 3v4, and we managed to hold them down to point one. Not very long, to be honest. The next Rocket League stream, random person, will be... 
That's a good question. I'm not sure. I don't even know if that's what I'll be doing on Thursday. Marlene got in. I don't know exactly when I'll be doing Minecraft again. To be honest, I don't plan my streams that far in advance. Oof. You go to your friends list, Louise, to send a friend request. You go to your friends list and just select add friend. And then you, you um, choose my friend code. Or you choose to add friend using friend code. Oof, what got me there? really trying to get me last minute and they were totally gonna splat me too see Ethan that was you <laughs> it's like wait I'm gonna get splatted
Ah, oh, where did you get hosting from, KGG? Ah! I could have had you, Lomoji, if I noticed you were there. As long as it can read their answer. Look at that, two people jumped here? You guys must be messing around. Oh, I see, Lemoji's trying to ninja brush me. Half the time I'm so busy, Noji, but I am the king of the brush, thank you very much. Oh wait. Actually, I wonder if I could hit my next level tonight. 38. I should be right on the verge of it. Yeah, actually I will. I don't know, you know what, Luoji, I don't even know many other people that use the brush now that I think about it. Like, a few people will touch the brush here and there. But we need more people to embrace the brush. Who is Mighty Mini? And the person with the Japanese name. Randoms. Usually randoms don't stick around that long. At least as far as I know. I don't die for free, Steven. I know, nowadays I use the brush a lot more. The brush is pretty fun though, I'm not gonna lie. Oof, Ethan was right there. A lot of, too many people are, are picking up my ninja technique. I don't like this. I am the ninja.
Ah, he got me. It's a good time to learn some states, Queen Ellen. I don't know why I waited so long just to take that kill. But that was a very patient ninja. Mizuki, get on my level, bro. Get on my level. I can camp with the brush. I can attack with the brush. I can camp your spawn with the brush. I am one with the brush. Alright, King Mario. Okay, got you. Omar Flores, what's up? Well, I managed to finish my level, so this was productive. I'm also going to be ending the stream in, I think, 12 minutes or so at 9 o'clock. Oh, that sniper just jumped off, Marlene. I could have taken out Ethan though. I didn't need to do that just yet. Why if it isn't Lemoji camping? Alright, I'm gonna go hunting. Oh, see Ellie, you're thinking of the specific segment. What they want is the entire opera. Even though The Marriage of Figaro is definitely my favorite.
Oh no, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Darn it, I was gonna try to get the double splat. Luis My code has been posted every time you ask for it. It's right there in the chat. Okay. Ellie had that one, Queen Helen. <laughs> you just you ninja it from her. What command are you talking about, Mizuki? Tell me one command that does not work. Oh jeez. Alright, it should be fine now. That was good. I don't even know, KG. I think I had it running on Fuss. I just have to double check the programs.
Oof. Oh, I get you, KGG. One last double splat. <laughs> Wait, did you, Ellie? I don't see that in my log anywhere. Yeah. Oh, Maya. <laughs> I'm gonna restart fuss just to be sure. Oh, that I don't know what that is, Ellie. I think that might be YouTube, YouTube's built-in yeah, anti-spam thing. Because usually, if anything like that happens, you know, I can see it, and I didn't see a single thing. Ah, darn it. So many rollers. Steven is not giving up. Steven, you got splatted what? Three times in a row and you would not give up. I'll give you props for that.
Sound terrible. All right, let me see if I have any friend requests that I need to accept. The emoji, don't be salty. It's okay. All right, so this is going to be our last, um, our last lobby. I'm going to go ahead and call this a private match, and then I'll be done. All right, see you later, Lemoji. Hey there, Michael. Danny also, thank you for subscribing. Also, for this last room, I'm going to spectate myself. Alright, King Mario, I accepted your friend request. Hey there, Hope. How's it going? Actually, <laughs> hope that sounds about right. I wouldn't mind being dead asleep myself. Next time I can do Mario Kart, Ethan, I I might might do Mario Kart on Thursday. Then you have to send me a request. Hey there, fun blue ninja. What is up? Yeah, Helen, just start it. Oh man, these teams are stacked. Danny, my friend code will be posted in the chat. Just keep an eye out for it.
Kareem, how's it going, man? How's work? Yep, Fargo is the movie, Ellie. Oh yeah, I hope. What do you have planned for your summer break? Another vacay, <laughs> Curry. <laughs> I tell you, man. Hey there, Savvy. Oh, you're going to Colossal Con. That sounds pretty awesome. Where do they ha where do they hold Colossal Con? What am I going to do for summer, Bala? I'm going to work. That's what I do for summer. <laughs> Queen Helen was trying to push. Oh, in Columbus. Noodle, we're just gonna call it quits. Oof, straight in my head, Billy. That really hurt. Meanwhile, Queen Helen is on her side doing what she does best. Stop it, Queen Helen. I beautiful people I love to stay and stream some more but I gotta go so I am gonna call it a night here thank you to everybody who hung out with me we had a lot of fun playing Splatoon and some Rocket League I will see you guys all at the next stream which will be on Thursday where we will play something I don't know what it is but we'll figure that out sometime between now and then and I'll see you guys all. Take care, y'all. I gotta go.
<laughs> 440.